Hi, this is Bill with Dine Drink Cruise. It is July of 2022 and I'm here on the Carnival Vista. And what I want to do real quick is walk you through my favorite bars so you can figure out where you want to spend your time when you take your cruise. There are six places I'm going to tour and the first one is here on deck four, the sports bar. Let's go in. Nobody should be in here right now. It's a little bit before six in the morning. I woke up early on a sea day. And the bar part here, meh not that fantastic right it's a pretty standard bar menu however what they have is whatever sports games are going on now we wound up sailing over the fourth of july week there was very little sports there was a lot of cricket and replays but still whatever game they have on is going to be here and that's been great in terms of things which they do here and they do this on most of the bars on board they have the beers, the Thirsty Frog beers, which they brewed on board. So, this bar is a great spot, but it's not so much because they have specialty drinks. The reason that this bar is a great spot is because of the sports they have on TV. Let's go one deck up and see what they have there. Welcome. another one of those frankly underused spaces on this ship which has been great because they brew their own beer now in addition to brewing their own beer that's actually where the most comprehensive rum menu on the ship is and I want to give you an idea of where it is so I'm going to keep this film rolling as I get over there we go over here to our right we're going to pass the plaza bar which is fine but frankly it's a stage with a service bar there is here another very good coffee bar which will open on up in just a little while which is separate from the main coffee bar coming up here on our left on our left is the java blue cafe we can get coffee and pastries so it's cost extra although the coffee is covered by the drink package and we are almost at Red Frog. Now, as you're walking on Deck 5 to get to Red Frog, one of the things you've got to be aware of is that as you walk past the picture gallery, a couple of times I've walked just right past the pub, which is weird. It seems like that ought to be hard to do, but I've done it. One of the other great things that the Red Frog pub does is they have, um, they have classes about how their beer is brewed, and you've got to pay extra for those, and it was a little bit much. It was something like $27.95, but still... Even then, it came with a souvenir glass and lots of beer. That, those are their starter machines for the beer. Those have been working this week. You have the main fermentation tanks over here. You've got traditional booth seating. You've got seating around some old, cool, I assume, beer barrels. You have a couple of TVs in here playing games, although it would get awfully crowded if there was some particular game you're trying to watch. And obviously, you have all of the beers. 
Now, in addition to the beers, one of the reasons this space is particularly fantastic is they've got great rums. They have um, Florida Kanye 18 year old, which is covered by the drink package. They have Florida Kanye 25 year old, which is not covered by the drink package. They have, I've learned to love something called Dos Maderas. They've got any excellent rum that you can imagine up here. They have some beer dispensing machines. The problem with these is that it's not, if you get the beer out of there, it's not covered by your drink package. Whereas if you get your beer from there, it is. And the waiter service is really, really good. They have some tabletop games, which sometimes are here. They look like they're a little bit further back right now. Yeah, they've got several iterations of things like that where you swing the rings onto the hook. More of those back there. These games are free. They don't cost anything. And then it wraps back around to the Plaza Bar. So the Red Frog Pub has probably been our favorite spot. And even at a reasonable hour of the day, it hasn't been busy. I've got a little bit of a walk now, although I'm going to stay on Deck 5. And what I'm going to do is show you real quick the Alchemy Bar, which is the best spot for probably custom cocktails. So hang on, and I will be back in just a minute. I'm still on Deck 5, and I'm at the Alchemy Bar. This has been one of the most crowded spots on the ship this week, and they probably didn't include enough seating here. What they've got is these really cool menus, which light up, and they've got some really fancy cocktails. But the reason you would come to the Alchemy Bar, in addition to those cocktails, in addition to the kind of cool old-school vibe, is that they um, can mix any specialty cocktail you wanted, right? Like old-school classic cocktails, martinis, vespers. Um, old fashions have all been fantastic. The cocktails that which they normally have have kind of cool names like that. But yeah, the problem with this space is there's simply not a whole lot of it. They've got something here called an island old fashioned, which is essentially an old fashioned with rum. But as you can see, this space borders onto the rest of the ship. So it is a great spot, but not a place so much for a quiet conversation with your friends. What I'm going to do now is go upstairs on deck 10 and look at a couple of the really great outdoor bars, which I've enjoyed this week. Bill back for one last stop. I'm on the pool deck, deck 10, to look at two last spots to drink. The Blue Iguana Tequila Bar, which is in front of me, as well as the Red Frog Rum Bar, which is behind me. The Red Frog Rum Bar is obviously different from the Red Frog Brewery, which is downstairs. Also, I had intended to show menus with this. What I will do is post the menu links separately on our website at dinedrinktravel.com. I wanted to come now early in the morning so I wouldn't be disturbing any of the other passengers as I walked through and did my video. However, most of the cocktails I've had have been 11 or 12 bucks. If you've got the drink package, they're easily covered. If you're wondering about getting the drink package, that's what they cost. The beers tend to be around six bucks. Some of them are seven. It depends on exactly what you get. If you wind up getting a double pour or something like that. One of the other things you should know is if you have a drink package, they won't give you a double. However, you can get another drink five minutes later and it's fine. This place is great here at the Blue Iguana Tequila Bar. If you want things like buckets of beer or margaritas. Now, it's a service bar. They'll have whatever you want, but they're especially is tequilas, and they've got some really high-end tequilas here. They've got Patron. They've got other things like that, most of which are covered by the drink package. And I'll get some pictures of that up on my website later on. Now, it is a small space, which spills out into the pool, and at certain parts of the day will get crowded as people come in to get their pool drink, but it's been great. Now, let's take a look at the Red Frog Rum Bar real quick. And at the end of that, I'll give you a readout on what my favorite spot on the ship was. It must have rained overnight because this deck is incredibly slippery. So, sorry, got to walk a little bit slower than I might during the middle of the day. Because I don't want to become YouTube famous for slipping and falling in my own video. So the Red Frog Rum Bar has been great. Um, and again, you can get whatever you want there. Do know, and this is shipwide, their mojitos are made with the Bacardi Limon. If you want a mojito with a regular rum, just like a plain clear rum, you've got to say that. But this space also spills out in the pool, also can become crowded, um, depending on the time of day. And it is a general service bar where they've got whatever you want. And they are already getting set up for the day. 
again, most of your standard cocktails, 11 or 12 bucks. So the question then is, which bar is the best one on board? And the answer, honestly, is it depends on what you're going for. If you're outside anyway, or if you want to enjoy the music, which is inevitably happening here on the pool deck, I stop at the tequila bar or the rum bar, and if you want either of those drinks, go to the appropriate one. Otherwise, go to either as a service bar. Where I, what I enjoy is sitting and talking with my friends. So to sit and talk with my friends, I've mostly been downstairs on deck five at the Red Frog Brewery. The sports bar is great, although it would get really crowded if there was an actual game going on. The Havana bar has wound up having my favorite drinks. The Alchemy bar is where I like to go when I want just a classic cocktail. So in terms of the best bar on board, I can't answer that. It depends on what you're going for. All six of those have been great. Now there are other options. Every lounge on board has a bar. There's a service bar um, behind us here on deck 10. There are other, the piano bar was a lot of fun. But these six are probably my favorite just regular bars on board. And I hope one of them will become a favorite for you too. I also hope this video has been helpful to you. If it has, I would really appreciate your support for the channel by clicking like and subscribe. I'd love to answer any questions or just hear what you have to say in the comments section down below. But thanks so much for watching and happy travels.